happy new year. Um, I'm glad that everybody that I knew, um, and hopefully everyone else stayed safe through the holidays and, uh, enjoy their time with their family. I do, however, want to get into something that is, um, kind of a key issue right now. So America basically officially lost, uh, its civil rights and divine human rights to freedom. Uh, you guys, if you haven't already, need to wake up and start checking your facts. Uh, I'm going to give you a few, and you can jot them down, and you can put them into a search engine. Research it, please, and try and figure out what the heck I'm talking about if you don't know. So in secrecy and in the late hours of New Year's Eve, the NDAA was officially signed by our President Barack Obama the same president who said he would not be signing such a clear violation to our uh, civil rights, and again, the same president who had the language removed exempting U.S. citizens and lawful residents from the NDAA bill. In my um, personal opinion, that is not only treason to the U.S. Constitution, but it is a treason to the United States of America. Both you and I now obviously, uh, can be indefinitely detained and held without due process. Um, you know, our loved ones are going to be sitting there scratching their heads wondering where the heck we went because they don't ever, you know, leave any notification of people they take um, as terrorists to, you know, Guantanamo Bay. They're not going to knock on the door and be like, hey, ma'am, listen, um, I, have to, I have to take your son to Guantanamo Bay. You know, he's acting up, that little terrorist. Yeah, right. Um... So, basically, no one's going to know if you are, in fact, being indefinitely detained. Um, I think for the last month, people have really been waiting for uh, a revision to uh, 1031 and 1032, or even a repeal. That did not happen. Um, under the radar, though... Article 125 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice allowing, um, well, excuse me, it, it was repealed and now it allows uh, sodomy and bestiality in the military. Now, number one, are you serious? Number two, that's absolutely disgusting. And number three, that's really disrespectful to our, um, to our troops. I think that our troops have more class than that, so... Um, not quite sure why you guys thought it was necessary to do that. Uh, you should probably consult a physician. Yeah. To add insult to injury, though, uh, Congress is trying to now pass a, uh, a bill, H.R. 3166. Go ahead and cue that in as well. Indefinite detention for engaging in or supporting uh, hostilities against the United States. So that, of course, can be um, slander, whether it be against the government or just Obama in general. I've done both those things in this video. Shucks. Uh, uh, let's see. Owning uh, guns, ammunition, d disaster, excuse me, disaster preparedness. Um, because you know that if you have food stored and, and water, you clearly are a terrorist and um, you need to be dealt with. So Barack Obama, uh, I don't know how many times I can say this, is a liar. And he's proven that time and time again. Uh, his statement when he signed the uh, DAA, was that he wasn't going to use the bill against U.S. citizens. But if that were the case, um, wouldn't you have just left the original language in there that would have kept us exempt? You know, what was the, the need to take it out? What was the need to really draw this whole thing out and um, keep telling us you weren't going to sign it when, in fact, you were and there was no revision made um, you're lying. So you should probably be held um, accordingly. <sighs> the only provision, however, was in um, 1022, and uh, that provision stated that U.S. citizens are exempt only from the mandatory requirement to be indefinitely detained. Um, so like the foreign nationals, they are, it's mandatory for them. They, If they are, you know, arrested or taken into custody for terrorism, they have to go to 
Guantanamo Bay or, or wherever. They don't have an option. Um, however, this is saying that the detainment of U.S. citizens and lawful residents is an option. So they don't have to throw you in, but they definitely can throw you in. So it's basically just how they feel about it or how they feel about you. Uh, between the steps that we've already seen, not just in the NDAA, but just um, all of, of, of the um, deceptions Obama has, has tried to, to feed us and um, the chaos that is being um, waged overseas makes me feel like, you know, it's it's very reasonable to say that um, our patriotism, our freedoms, uh, our country, and our safety really are in grave danger, and um, I'm not sure what we can do besides just, you know, stay good and, and, and keep sticking up for your human rights, your rights to freedom, your rights to not have to worry about being taken in the night or, um, you know, attacked while you're getting in your car. Real terrorism is from our government. It's not from people across seas. It's always from, in my lifetime, let me say, been from the government. They want you to fear your neighbor. They want you to fear people that are different than you. And um, they will attack on their own soil and kill their own people if that will keep the sheep in a herd and it is absolutely wrong and um, for that reason I really don't fear being indefinitely detained because I don't care what anybody ever were to threaten me with I am always going to stick up for what I believe is right um, I don't need anyone's approval uh, the only thing that I need is to go to bed with a clear conscience and be able to sleep at night and not constantly worry about um, maybe a negative effect that I'm having on people around me and the world instead of a positive effect and a possible positive change that I can make by putting myself out there and um, informing people. So that's really how I feel about it. I don't condone violence, whether it's here against citizens, whether it's against corrupt government officials or um, people overseas, citizens, other corrupt government officials, dictators, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't condone it, and I sincerely hope that um, these people will be held responsible um, and will have to face the laws that they've been sweeping under the rug for, you know, however long and, uh, you know, get a taste of their medicine, really. So, uh, alright guys, that's just about it. <laughs> uh, however, I, I really did want to say that um, America is the land of the free. We've been the land of the free for um, a long time up until recently. And uh, I really hope that the people behind all of this don't forget that because I don't think that the American citizens have one bit. And um, I'm pretty sure we're going to stick to our guns on this and we're not going to let people come in and just trample all over us and, you know, treat us like cattle. It's not going to happen. So, um... Yeah, I am still positive. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll probably be back uh, in a few days. So, Happy New Year!